Hey, Spike Summary or Demost Alliance. It's me, Spike of Hazard, coming to another video in this video. I am doing another dragon, except this is um, Rising of the Shield Hero, the main four cardinal heroes as dragons. Hope you all enjoy. Let's get into the video, shall we? Okay. The first dragon we're looking at today is one of four weapon types. These guys are known as the four cardinal dragon species. The first one is known as the the first one is known as the Cardinal Shield Dragon, but it's more commonly known as Shield Dragon. But the scientific name for it is actually Protection Shield Dragon. This dragon has an enormously thick hide and it actually has a um which is perfectly made for making shields. Um it has no offensive capabilities, but defensive capabilities are through the roof. And for the record, the, you might think the wings are the weak part. Uh, you be slowly, sorely mistaken. Those things are freaking tough. They can put the Kokaku to shame. Yeah. Not to mention the lightweight, but extremely durable. The head of the creature is very interesting. People call it the Devil of the Shield, but just because it has horns. But in reality, it's actually a really nice dragon. That is when it's young, anyways. For the record, it has shield patterns on its face, on its stomach, and actual an actual shield on its tail. And I have seen one of these dragons up close. It has been known to use it to make shield prisons, um, used to make ropes, and be able to swing around when its wings are somehow injured. The body is covered in spikes for more defense, but it does have some good offense. I might earlier I said it doesn't have much offense, but what the does what it does have for offense is pretty good. Get this: those spikes on its head are actually made for ramming into enemies. So yeah, there's that. Not to mention the tail, the um. The shield at the end of the tail can bash on skull and not just that, but also if he slams it down, one of these dragons slam it down full force, they can fly into the person into a pancake. <laughs> That's bloody. The legs are fairly interesting. The front legs have a riddled with spikes up top, but once you get down to like the forearm and claws, they're nothing really. Then there's the back leg. Same thing there. Mostly clearer on the upper leg, but once you get down to the, um, right above the claws, there's actually one giant spike there. It's fairly interesting. Then there's... That's practically it. Let's get to the next dragon, shall we? Now, this dragon is one of the most hated, most sought after to just... Just punch in the face, dragons. You might think it's fairly hard to beat on the con it's so armored, but in reality, the thing is freaking weak. It is known as these people literally have petitioned this name. Originally, it was known simply as the um, spear dragon, but people hated the thing so much because of its smirking face. They literally had it renamed Smirking Douchebag Spear Armor Dragon. <laughs> the fang's face looks like an emoji. A smirking emoji is hilarious. This tail is, looks like a um spear. This is the Carnal Spear Dragon. <laughs> its name, it's known as Douche Spear. <laughs> That's fitting too. It causes more damage than it actually stops. I have literally had to kill five of these things. They caused my dogs to die. Every single one of them killed at least ten dogs before I put a, a Demos bullet through their skull. <laughs> uh, I actually had them disemboweled and I had the uh, I actually used their hide to make, to make some armor. F speaking of armor, their tails yeah, our spear is at the tip, but the end of one of the spear is actually at the end of their tail. So, yeah, 
the back legs are heavily armored because, you know, these things are weapons. <sighs> the front legs are also armored. It's a weird design, but eh, it's heavily armored, but you, the armor is very flimsy. It's full plate mail, maybe a 50 caliber round, or just a single 9 millimeter round with induced with some explosive magic to do the trick and blow these things brains out. The horn on the thing is really just like a hairstyle. Also, it has like a little shielded piece on its face. I think it's just all around ugly and freaking hilarious because of how much people hate it. Literally, I hate these things so freaking much. They are two gullible dragons. Not to mention they're for the shield dragon. It's um, what's that the name? Yeah, shield dragon. It's um, lifespan is about get this about a half a mil. It's about two million years. Same length as the demonic black dragon, which is fitting for that dragon. This one on the list is most notably left for to be only like a thousand years old, but if it's lucky, can get to at least half a thou half a million <laughs> before being hunt down when shot in the head. People hate these things so freaking much it's hilarious. <laughs> Next dragon. <laughs> okay. The last dragon was a very hated dragon. But this next one is actually very well liked. Even though it still is kind of hated on the count that the four coronal dragon species are supposed to be working together. Um... For the record, the shield dragon is mostly kind to um, demi-humans, like um, elves, raccoon people. Basically, just mix a half-human and a half an put a human and an animal together, you get a demi-human, like a satyr. They're really kind to those and have the ability to enhance plants. These, and besides, the rest of these dragons all have, uh, are weapons. He, this dragon is known as Sword-Tailed Dragon, or just simply Sword-Tail. These dragons have a regular looking tail, but once you get to the end, it looks like a carnal weapon known as a carnal sword. It is, matter of fact, all these look like that. It has like a weird skin piece on its neck, it's like a blue scarf. Things has some like cloak on it. But other than that, the wings are not really armored and originally looked like your standard wyvern, but then after looking closer, people realized, oh, it's a full-on dragon. It's a freaky one, but eh, I've seen it attack a few things. It can slaughter things so pretty easily with a tail. It's known to not really do much Except for slashes. Sometimes they are able to use lightning magic, which is pretty deadly. They can use it in their on their tail or spit it from their mouth. Next dragon, shall we? Okay, this next dragon is actually somewhat simple. It's actually a wyvern. The head, though, is your standard dragon head. I'm a hook top. Regular mouth, but the thing has a long neck. It has five spikes on its head, like a mohawk. The two legs look like, the bottom legs look like boots, and other than that, nothing really. Um, at the end of the tail, though, it looks like it has an arrow. The main piece of this dragon, though, oh, for the record, this name, it's known as Bow-Winged Wyvern Dragon. But it's mostly known as Bow-Winged. The wings are actually the most interesting piece of these dragons. They have, they're pretty armored. They're actually quite armored. And, um, at the end, there are two fingers and, like, a, um, biological bow attached to, like, a little bone that's coming out. It's pretty hideous. And the two fingers always, whenever it's getting ready to fight, it's known to use those fingers, bring the, um, what was it? Bring the bow back for it's like a tendon or something. It's ugly. It's freakily gross. 
And, like, all these dragons can, can use magic. You, like, oh. So, how does the arrow get summoned? It just, dis it just appears. It's mostly like a thunder arrow. Just can create a loud boom whenever it's, um, fired and when it hits something. It's more of a sound bomb. But I've fought these things and chop off the arrow on its tail. Things out for the count. Well, hope you all enjoyed these dragons today. See y'all next time. Well, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Subscribe today, join Spiker Stormy or Demont Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.